We are here to celebrate the second year of the Harlem Shakespeare Festival and we as a group called Shakespeare on the Road, shakespeareontheroad.com, check it out, we are here on part of a massive road trip across, right across North America and we're visiting 14 different Shakespeare festivals in this one summer. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy, content at least, yet in these thoughts myself almost despising, happily, I think on thee. And then my soul, like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered, such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings. I'm Paul Prescott from the University of Warwick in England. Yeah, well, it's, it's a group of us. I'm, I'm an academic. I, I teach Shakespeare. A friend of mine works for the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust, Paul Edmondson. And we, we've combined with a New York digital creative agency called Misfit Inc. And what we're fascinated by is why there is so much Shakespeare every summer all across America. And we had the great privilege of meeting Deborah Ann Bird a few months ago. And we knew that we had to come here to New York City and to see her work in Harlem. We looked out for interesting work that was happening in New York City and when we first time we saw the Harlem Shakespeare Festival existed we thought we've got to go there and so we Skyped with Deborah Ann we've met her in Stratford Ontario and in Paris and every every time we meet her we grow more and more in love with her as she's a force of nature and she's doing amazing things with this festival we're here to listen and to absorb and to tell the stories of the folks we meet while we're on the road so if you go to shakespeareontheroad.com you'll see those stories Hi, we are here with Deborah Ann Bird, CEO of Take Wing and Soar, as well as now the second year of Harlem Shakespeare Festival. From you, as the creator of this event, what do you feel are some of the takeaways from either the audience or even for you? Well, um, being a producer person, I'm taking away a little tiredness, but I'm still blessed beyond measure. Um, but I think I've heard as I'm walking through and, and people are giving many congratulations, a lot of folks are taking away the fact that they learned a lot about history that they did not know before um, in, in sharing about um, Ira Aldridge, uh, who was acting in the 1820s, and he was born in, uh, in the 20s and 30s and 40s, and then Henrietta Vinton Davis, who made her day debut in 1883 uh, and of course Paul Robeson who almost everyone knows you cannot not know Paul Robeson and his fabulous self um, a lot of people like I said was taking away a lot of the history um, that was being portrayed um, I heard that they really liked um, the singing they didn't know that some of us could sing <laughs> kind of sorta at least I say that for myself Julius is fabulous with his Paul Robeson um, and and a lot of people haven't heard Dathan sing either um, um, so I think some of the takeaways is a lot of surprises for um, our patrons who are not used to us singing but just acting. Um, folks were very happy. Um, they told me with um, hearing the history and seeing the Shakespeare happen and hearing the singing happen like that. So uh, it is our hope that people will walk away saying, oh God, I got to come back to something else. I am Harlem Shakespeare. We are Harlem Shakespeare. I'm Harlem Shakespeare. I'm I am Harlem Shakespeare. I am Harlem Shakespeare. I am Harlem Shakespeare. I am Harlem Shakespeare.